Today is paint day, so I'm excited about that. I'm about to fix me some breakfast now, and I am going to get started on painting the RV today. So stay tuned. Let me get some food first. Okay, so look at this shower it doesn't go with the aesthetics of what i want at all especially the silver part so i'm gonna try to come up with some kind of idea that i can make this look a little bit better than what it is um it's a little dirty in there and that's this is after me cleaning it so yeah i gotta really um figure this out because this is this ain't it all right stay tuned let's see what we come up with yeah, so this is what I came up with for the shower. It actually looks pretty good in this black here. Uh, I'm not finished. I can't hold the phone and record at the same time. But, um, and I kind of ran out of blue tape. So I'm going to try to rig this up some kind of way. But I'm going to show you guys the finished product. But this looks good. Looks real good. I'm really impressed with myself. <laughs> All right guys, so this is how the shower doors look now. Looks pretty good. I done got so ahead of myself, so I already done started like painting the shower doors and everything. So I'm not even done with the bedroom. This is all over the place, but I'm gonna get there. So I want it to be real moody in here. So everybody usually do white, 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 but I want black because I get enough sunlight and um, you know, I'm gonna change the floors out and all of that stuff. But yeah, I like the way the showers came out, but this is it. So I'll keep y'all up on the progress as I move forward. And hey, let me show y'all where I'm at. So I'm still at a standstill with the bedroom things, but I kind of put some clothes in there, if you can see. Um, I still haven't painted the bottom yet, but I have did this to the bathroom so far. So I'm trying to make this project as cheap as possible. Uh, so I'm painted that. Um, today I'm probably gonna get the sink, get this uh, painted as well too. I ran out of paint, so I gotta get some more paint so I can finish the cabinet doors. Uh, also, you know, of course you've seen the, that already. And I started making my way over to the kitchen uh but well, before i get there let me show you the bathroom so i did the bathroom the bathroom is also uh black as well painted those gold I'm trying to keep everything in intact here so this is where we at right now i'm getting there slowly but surely and i've moved my way onto the kitchen a little bit uh, here's the refrigerator. Let me show you what I did from this side. So all I did was I just touched up the black around the refrigerator with some spray paint and I painted the knobs on the handles gold as well too. This is where the pantry door is. Like I said, I ran out of paint, so got to go get more paint. I also painted the vents uh, matte black as well too so it can match everything else. And I started to paint where my control panel is, which I'm going to cover that up anyway. I don't even know why I painted it, but I covered it up anyway. So this is as far as I made it so far, and now I'm starting to tape off everything that needs to get taped off on this end over here. Uh, even some of the light fixtures, like I'm gonna keep the light fixtures as of now, so I'm just gonna paint them gold as well too, just to kind of save money on the project. But so far, I haven't really spent that much. I probably spent about a good hundred and maybe fifty dollars at this point. I'm gonna tally it up at the end. But I'm trying to finish the whole thing under 500 bucks. So, uh, yeah, so far I'm at like 150. So I got a little ways to go. But, yeah, this is where I'm at right now. So I'll update y'all with more as I continue. This is uh, very draining. But, yeah, I'm going to get there eventually. All right, guys, so this right here is a quick hack. Basically, just put a plastic bag around the item and then just tape around it. That's the quickest way that usually works out for me. And also, um, I wanted to show you guys this. So I wanted to make sure I know which is cotton and which is cold. 
So I popped that out um, before I started spray painting. But basically, you're just gonna do some light coats. Now it's gonna take a while because it's gonna be a couple of coats that you need to do. I would say shake the can really good. By the way, this is the Rust-Oleum metallic uh, gold paint that I'm using. It's like a diluted gold. So this is what I've been using. All right, so just shake it up, shake it up. And then I'm basically gonna just do some light motions. Just. That's it. I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna come back. Let it dry and come back. This, this is disgusting. But yeah, I already started. This is what I'm using right now. The Rust-Oleum towel. Tub and towel. They say this is really good for countertops as well. So trying to see how this goes. It's, it's looking very milky. I hope this is, uh, you know, just the start. I wanted to see how it was going to come out. I need to tape some places off, like right over here and all the other good stuff. But... Let's see how this comes out. I'm very nervous. I'm very nervous. It's looking real, uh, <laughs> real milky right now. But I don't know. We'll see. It says it's supposed to take a couple of coats, so there's not that much counter space. So this little can should be more than enough. Y'all see, I got the TV and stuff set up, right? I'm trying to watch TV <laughs> and entertain myself at the same time because I'm extremely bored doing this, and I really don't feel like it. Uh, I'm going to also say that this requires you to have some type of mask on or make sure you have some ventilation. This thing stinks like hell. It stinks really bad. I can tell you all this though, this white, it's really starting to look good. Really liking this white. That gray, dark gray countertops wasn't doing nothing, but that white is definitely starting to brighten the place up. I can't wait. Can't wait till I'm finished.